What's up crew? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to easily create overlays using Ecamm. This is how to personalize your live streams with your style and brand. The first thing I do is head over to canva.com. Canva is absolutely free. Canva Pro is a paid service that unlocks the full power of Canva. While on Canva, take your time and select an image or a video that you would like to use as your background. If you decide to use video, try your best to find one that's loopable. This is when the end of the video lines up perfectly with the beginning. Creating an infinite seamless loop. Once you have found a file that you like, download it and put it in a safe location for repeated use. For this demonstration, I'm going to keep it on the desktop. Now we will open up Ecamm and this is what you will more or less see. One of the main reasons why I love Ecamm is its ease of use. First, we will head over to the source menu and select video file. Select the file that we just downloaded and it will fill up the screen. Next, we will select the option to loop the video. Looks good. Now we will add ourselves back to the scene by clicking the add camera button found in the overlay window. This is where things get fun. Use the scroll wheel on your mouse to adjust the size of your camera overlay. Place it where you want and you're all done. It's that easy. The latest update to Ecamm version 3.9 lets you take this even further. Let me show you. You can select the pencil icon to customize the camera overlay window. Here we have the option to change the shape of the camera overlay itself from wide, square, circle, and squircle. Yeah, squircle. Corner radius allows you to change how sharp or round your corners are. And if you can't decide, just use both. Last but not least is border width. This adds a border to your overlay window where you can select width, color, and opacity. Let's use purple with 70% opacity and 13 as the width. Now that looks great. If you want to invite someone onto your stream, Ecamm's interview mode is an easy and convenient way to do it. But before you send someone the link to join your broadcast, let's set up an interview scene. Click on the duplicate scene button and name it interview one. Next, we will change the camera shape over to square. Make it a little smaller, set it where I like, then duplicate the window. Just hold down the option key, then click and drag a duplicate camera overlay. Click the pencil on the new window and select guest one as your camera. And we're all done. Now, when you share your link, your guest will be inserted automatically into the overlay. What's up everyone? Today I'm being joined by a very special guest, none other than my video editor. Welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Really excited to be here. Can't wait to have a great conversation. Well, it's our pleasure to have you here as well. With that being said, let's get started. Once you have things the way you like, I suggest locking your scenes. This way, you can't move an overlay in the middle of a broadcast, giving you the ability to switch quickly and easily in between scenes. Ecamm is the easiest way to invite a guest to your podcast, live stream, or just to spruce up a Zoom meeting. I even used Ecamm to make the video that you're watching right now. You can try out Ecamm with a 14-day free trial, link in the description but it won't take you that long to realize that this is an amazing program. My name's Lewis, also known as Mr. Camera Junkie. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I will see you next time.